in permutations, order matters. But what about cases when order doesn't matter? Um, question, how many combinations of three distinct numbers from 10 distinct numbers are there? And remember, order doesn't matter here. So think about what we were doing before. So A, B, C, if order matters, we can have this. Uh, A, C, B, B, A, C, B, C, A, C, B, A, C, A, B, an accident. It's not a secret message. Um, so there are three factorial orderings of these number of objects, right? So now we, we saw if we're taking a permutation, uh, P, 10, 3, this is 10 factorial over 10 minus 3 factorial. This is 10 factorial over 7 factorial. This ended up being 720. But think about it. Those three items here, we're counting in every single permutation by this. So what we need to do is divide out the order that was generated from the R, so to speak. Uh, and R, right, in this particular case. So we have a function for this. It's called a choice function. Sometimes it's denoted in several different ways. These are the ways. N choose R, which is the same as C and R, which is the same as C and R. There might even be another notation that I'm not thinking about right now, but there's always different notations. Basically, this is going to be n factorial, divide out that r factorial, and then it's going to be n minus r factorial. And you'll notice this is simply pnr divided by r factorial. As we talked about, this was generating the orders for those things. So let's do an example. 